Okay, record. All right, this is the Plum A set. We are using this for blood products. Reason being is that it has this nice inline blood filter. Um, all of the Plum A sets that we have in house have this in it. You can use a Plum A set without the pump. So if you ever need to um, use it without the pump, how you actually set your drip rate is here, and it's a little bit difficult to do. So we are going to talk a little bit about how to fill the pump. Um, some people use a little bit of saline prior to the blood actually getting there. Some people just use the straight blood. You can do it either way. Um, you first want to fill your burette, and you want to kink this off so that you don't fill the floor. So you'd fill your burette like you would with a normal plump. Can you grab me a syringe? Three cc is fine. Once you have your burette filled up, then you're going to let it run into the line. And here is where you can do it one of two ways. So as you look at this cassette, this is actually how you control how fast things happen. When you're first loading it into the cassette, if you do it really slowly, you can actually let one drop fall into here, turn your cassette upside down, and then fill each of the chambers. I find that actually that I have a much easier way of doing that, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my way just because of the fact that it's a little bit more foolproof. And so I usually just allow this to fill completely. And as you'll notice, how this pump actually works is it's a diaphragm system. So this is a bladder that pushes the blood through. Um, and the machine detects any kind of air bubbles in here. And so the air bubbles are taken care of in the machine right here without any kind of roller system that pushes the blood. And so I'm going to allow this as I open it. to fill on down. Like so. And then apparently this one is stuck. So I'm going to actually open the machine. So we open it right here. That's how you do it. This little white thing actually slides to the back. There's really only one way to insert it and still have it go in there. Like that. So white thing goes to the back. We close it down, not on the line, just like that. The machine, if it's on, is gonna start doing its thing here. And then what I'll usually do is I'll usually use a syringe, a sterile syringe, obviously, because you're going to be going into a bloodline. And here, it gives you the choice of doing a back prime. And you'll see that it says cassette test failure. That's because it, it detects air in that cassette. And so with the back prime, we are just hitting back prime and pulling the air out as it goes. And how that happens, you'll see that the air gets put up to the top of that cassette, and the back prime means that we are just pulling that air off of the injection set. So now we have an injection set with no air in it, and at this point we can prime the line. And so what I usually do to prime the line is pump A is the one that we're on. We just set our rate in order to get it filled up. So I usually set my rate for something like 99 volume to be infused. I usually just set that for what I anticipate the line being. Roughly 15 is what I usually set it for. And then I'm just going to hit start. It's going to ru start running it through. Again, we got all of our air out because we already did that back prime. And so as it fills through, then we're going to just wait until it gets to the end of our line. And then um, we can start it to our patient. And that's the end.